You're now looking at my uh, iMac computer in my office at home, which is connected to the internet. And we have at the moment uh, frozen uh, the proceedings before the uh, Maryland uh, Public Service Commission, date October 15, 2015, starting at approximately 10.05 a.m. Uh, over here is the computer that I'm using to capture the audio with uh, AMVSR, Automated Multiple uh, Voice Speech Recognition Technology. Uh, and you're going to see the words coming up live as it's being said. The image on this screen could be broadcast to those who are in the hearing room uh, watching the testimony uh, so that they can make notes uh, and that every time there is a recess we would be able to uh, uh, email uh, uh, an updated uh, uh, working rough draft of the real-time transcript. Welcome to the Maryland Public Service Commission's Empower Maryland semi-annual hearings for quarter one and quarter two of 2015. Um, before we begin with presentations, I will note that we have three petitions for intervention from Prince George's County, RISA, and NR. Yes, you're going to see mistakes, but uh, remember, it is uh, automation. It doesn't cost us a thing to make this transcript. And that's why the price tag will drop uh, at least by 50%. We're later going to show you how we can uh, have our digital text editors uh, clean up the transcript uh, very easily. But now that 95, 96% of the transcript has already been typed, it makes it far more efficient to produce uh, transcripts. G retail affiliates, and I, my plan is to take these up tomorrow morning because none of these parties are scheduled. Uh, to present until tomorrow if their petitions are granted. So we will take those petitions up first thing tomorrow morning when we meet. Okay, let's, we will start, um, I won't get through the whole schedule, but uh, just for this morning, we will begin with um, commission staff. We'll make a presentation, then we will hear from the Department of Housing and uh, Community Development, uh, followed up by a brief um, a presentation by our staff on, on DHCD's programs, um, and then um, time permitting, before lunch, we will hear from NR, DC, and the Sierra Club. So without further ado, we will turn it over to the Commission staff, and I will um, ask uh, Mr. Dan Hurley to begin staff's presentations. I want to announce, though, for those who have not heard, that Mr. Hurley has been appointed Director of the Energy Analysis and Planning Division of the Public Service Commission. So congratulations, Mr. Hurley. Thank you. Now what I'm about to do is show you how each word is linked to the embedded sound behind the words that you saw come up a moment ago. So let me turn on that feature right now. Hold on. Welcome to the Maryland Public Service Commission's Empower Maryland semi-annual hearings for quarter one and quarter two of 2015. Um, before we begin with presentations, I will note that we have three petitions for intervention from Prince George's County, RISA, and NRG Retail Affiliates presentations. The uh, only reason why we're getting a superlative uh, uh, conversion of voice to text here, and uh, when I say that, 95-96% uh, accuracy, is because... Uh, uh, the Commission and, uh, from what we can tell, only certain members of uh, the litigators are using uh, devices similar to this. This could happen in any courtroom in North America. And yes, it can be expensive. It could cost $2,000, $3,000 to set up their courtroom so that lawyers and judges and witnesses would wear these devices. But uh, it is certainly penny uh, uh, wise and ton, not pound, but ton foolish not to use this technology because when you want to have daily copy transcripts or expedited transcripts, you're going to be paying anywhere between two and three thousand dollars per volume per day's transcript, and uh, one or two days will certainly make up for the uh, uh, cost of uh, 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 installing uh, uh, the best uh, digital uh, recording and wireless technology so that we can uh, give you the transcripts that you want at a very uh, nominal price. I will note that we have
have three petitions for intervention from Prince George's County, RISA, and NRG Retail Affiliates. And I, my plan is to take these up tomorrow morning because none of these parties are scheduled uh, to present until tomorrow if their petitions are granted. So we will take these petitions up first thing tomorrow morning when we meet. Okay, let's, we will start, um, I won't go through the whole schedule, but uh, just for this morning, we will begin with um, commission staff. We'll make a presentation, then we will hear from the Department of Housing and, and uh, Community Development, followed up by a brief um, a presentation by our staff on, on DHCD's programs, um, and then, um, time permitting, before lunch, we will hear from... I see something really cool. The technology is such that uh, soon, within the next year and a half, two years, if a courtroom were to uh, audio record digitally with these devices, uh, wireless microphones and uh, these gooseneck fixed microphones, uh, we could take an hour, 60 minute uh, audio and convert it to text in less than three minutes or a whole day in less than 20 minutes. Watch. Hi, this is Steve Hubbard. What you're looking at is a very fast microprocessor chip that is converting in one twentieth of the regular time it takes to convert audio to text. In other words, one hour in less than three minutes. So based on the uh, clip you just saw of uh, the one twentieth time it takes to convert uh, uh, digital audio, or video for that matter, uh, to text, now we have experienced digital text editors who can take that uh, output and uh, uh, once they hone their skills very quickly edit that file so that uh, those in the courtroom or in a deposition uh, within uh, literally uh, minutes after they adjourn at uh, lunch at the end of the day uh, uh, can easily have a final certified transcript. So just watch the editing that takes place here. It's almost happening in real time. Uh, after the file has been converted. So, so that um, you, you know who our players are. Sean? I think at this point we're just going to let you watch the editing take place and pretend you're sitting in the chair doing it yourself. I think you know you can make money at this.